Good day. Welcome to another episode of the Masonic Curators. Remember, when you watch one of our videos, if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. Also, that we are on Facebook. So you may, from time to time, uh, see some extra postings done on Facebook that you're not going to see here on the videos done on YouTube. So check out our Facebook page, uh, Masonic Curators. Uh, you can leave a comment either on the YouTube page or on the Facebook page. And if you wish to contact us via email, our email is Masonic Preservation Society, all one word, at gmail.com. Today's episode is a Masonic Glass Bell. Now, you may remember a number of episodes I did the Masonic Gong at the Somerville Masonic Temple. And today, this is the Low 12 Bell. Freemasonry used gongs and bells. This is, of course, the bell. Now, the history of this piece is really unknown, but from individuals who looked it over a number of decades ago, uh, we feel that the way it's been made, um, it could date between 1820, 1840. Also, there is a large not far from here in Cambridge that also has a bell exactly like this that they also have in their lodge room. Uh, and that lodge was founded in 1797. So the curator of the collections at the Scottish Rite Museum a number of decades ago, as well as an independent appraiser company came in, and that's the age that they basically uh, state that the bell is made from. Uh, it is lead crystal with an oak handle. Uh, we believe it belonged to Amicable Lodge. We're not exactly sure. Uh, when this was found some 30 years ago in a glass case on the first floor, it was covered with dust and just had a small little uh, index card that said property of Amicable Lodge. Later, we found a case uh, and the belt fitted exactly into the case perfectly. Uh, and that also had a sticker on it that was the property of Amicable Lodge. So we're thinking that this is the property of Amicable Lodge, though there are no records of this uh, in their inventory or in their minutes. But unlike the gong at Somerville, which I know many of you commented that you wish I had rung, uh, that was in kind of bad shape and it wasn't our property to play with. This I can play with. So today I'm going to ring a bell for everybody who is very interested. This may be the only time that you're ever going to hear a 200 year old Masonic glass bell ring. Uh, it is still used, believe it or not, to this day uh, on some of the third degrees in Amical Lodge. But I will point out one thing. Uh, there are a number of other glass bells that have been made over the years. If by chance you ever do find one and you want to hear it ring, what is the implement that you do not use? And that is a hard head gap. What you want to use is something like this, a cork head gap. And for all those who have been waiting months now to hear the gong, this is the bell. So with that, I want to say thank you very much for watching. Again, give us a thumbs up if you like it. Um, I'll ring it one more time before we close or add our closing. And thank you very much for chiming in.